First cast. First cast, dude. First cast in Lake St. Clair. She's going this way. Oh my gosh, dude. Yeah, she's pissed. She's freaking pissed. <laughs> All right, see you later. Have fun. Goodbye. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. As you guys can tell behind me, we are not in Southwest Michigan right now. We are on Lake St. Clair, one of the best smallmouth lakes in the entire country. Uh, we are here for two reasons. So one, as some of you guys may know, I am the college coach for Southwestern Michigan College. So we've got a tournament out here tomorrow that all my guys on my team are gonna be fishing. Also on Sunday, there's actually an alumni tournament. So that one is open to all the current college anglers and then also anyone that's ever fished a CBT or an MCBC event uh, back in the day. So if you guys have been following my channel, I used to fish in college for Grand Valley State University. Uh, so I'm gonna actually jump in and fish that tournament Sunday and some of my guys on my team are gonna fish it as well too. So it's gonna be a really cool tournament. Uh, gonna have a chance to see some of my old college buddies and also you know, fish against some of the guys that are actually out here fishing in these CBTs uh, right now too. So really excited to be out on Lake St. Clair guys. I've never been out here in my own bass boat. So you guys are about to watch my first time ever out here. Uh, we cracked them as you can see, it's later in the day we've already fished. So caught some really big smallmouth, figured some stuff out for Sunday. Uh, so right before we get into that, start catching some big, big, big smallmouth. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Uh, I do wanna talk about today's video sponsor, Carl's Bait and Tackle. Uh, they are an online tackle retail shop. I've been working with them for I don't even know how many years now. You guys have probably heard me talk about them in the videos before. It's where I pretty much get all of the tackle that you guys ever see me use in these videos. So uh, the baits I'm using today, uh, the you know drop shot weights, the hooks, everything that you guys see me catch these big St. Clair smallmouth on in this video, I got it on Carl's Bait and Tackle. So if you guys want to be a Carl's member, it is $49 for the year. You get free shipping. You save like 20 to 30% on pretty much everything on the website. Uh, and you also get tackle insurance. So you could actually get a lure. Like say, say you chuck a, a jerk bait out, a pike freaking rips it off. You could actually file a claim and get that jerk bait replaced. So you get tackle insurance uh, as part of your Carl's membership plan. So check that out in the link down below. Save some money on tackle. If you guys fish a lot like me, it's the best place to get your fishing lure. So without further ado, we're gonna jump into the fishing and try to figure out these big freaking giant Lake St. Clair smallmouth. So let's get right to it. First cast, first cast, dude. First cast in Lake St. Clair. <laughs> it's not very, not not a giant or anything. Feels decent though, yeah. Sure is, first cast, dude. First cast, go anywhere. Nedrig? Yeah, uh, throw a net rig in Lake St. Clair and you'll catch a bass. We pulled up on some random spot in the middle of the lake. Didn't see anything on the graph, not a single strand of grass, not a single fish. First cast, just got clapped so hard, dude. <laughs> you wanna get this one in the net real quick? It's not like a bad one. I don't wanna like snap her off or anything. Yeah, two and a half, three pounder maybe. Yep, yep, <laughs> first cast. <laughs> I mean, they do say that that's bad luck, but I always, you know, I roll with it, man. Oh my God. No way, clapped on the crankbait too? <laughs> no freaking way, dude. <laughs> Probably like a two and a half pounder. Throw in a little one six ounce Ned rig in the deal. If you guys want to check out Carl's Bait and Tackle, that is today's video sponsor. That's where we're getting pretty much all of these, uh, all the tackle that you guys are going to see in the video today, the line, uh, the baits, and that's how we're going to catch these big old Lake St. Clair smallmouth. Obviously, that one's not like a giant, but can't be catching one that solid on your first freaking cast, though. My goodness. 2.92 pounds. Almost a three-pounder. All right, honey, you're gonna go back in the lake. Thank you so much for biting on the first freaking cast out here. We're gonna hopefully catch a lot of your friends down there as well. There she goes. Got him. Got him? On the spy bait? No way. We just had to move the boat a little bit. Get back into the juice. Good two pounder maybe. Oh, he's got one following it. He's got a big one following it. Let's see if we can get him. He had like a three or four pounder following him in. Still there, he's still underneath him, I see him. Is he? My, 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 Nederick's down there. Dang, okay. That was cool. So there's definitely fish in the area. I mean, the one that Chris has isn't bad. That was a big there was a bigger one. There was like a four pounder following him up. This one's like another like two and a half-ish. 
Yeah, maybe even like a three. Yeah, Let's go! Dude. Let's go! <laughs> on the freaking spy bait too. Dude, but that, if this one's a three, which I'm assuming it's gonna be around there, that one was definitely a four plus though. That was a big one behind it, a big dark one too. We are gonna get our best five going. We're out here practicing for the CBT. Chris is now fishing with me, unfortunately. Fishing with my good buddy Matt Davis though, so we're gonna have a good time. 3.04, so three powder. Yes, sir. <laughs> Heck, freaking yes, man. On the spy bait. On the spy bait. You want a picture with that one? Nope. We're gonna catch bigger ones, huh? All right, we're gonna catch a four pounder. Chris said it. There she goes. Right back down there. All right, two three pounders in the boat so far. No giants, but two threes. Can't complain about that. Oh, oh, oh. Eat it, dude. Just eat it. Quick snap. Yep, Chris, you're a genius. Chris is a genius. Yes. <laughs> I had him following in it. <laughs> he followed it up and he was not committing to it. Chris goes quick snap, snapped it, and she ate it instantly, <laughs> dude. Oh, it's a good one, dude. It's another like three pounder, I guess. They're all, they're all about the same so far. We haven't got any true giants. I haven't caught any little ones, really. I guess I got a 15 incher. They're like three freaking pounder though. Dude, look at that, look at the hook in her mouth. Oh no. <laughs> One tiny little treble hook in her tongue. Probably another three pound bass. I'm gonna put her on the scale. Another good smallmouth bass out here. Biggest one yet. 3.10. Just over three pounders. She's a little bit longer than those other ones. Heck freaking yes, dude. Well, we're working on a 15 pound bag. Nothing giant so far. We know there's obviously five, six, even seven pounders out here. Have not ran into one yet, but we will take these three pounders all freaking day long. Ned rig and the uh, little spy bait has been the key so far. Heck yeah. Get her uh, released back in the water over here. Right Too bad the tournament wasn't today. It's in perfect conditions. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, hey. What's that on? This on Ned. This one might be big. It's very heavy. Whatever this is, it's swimming just straight to the side. I haven't felt a head shake though. Like it's not fighting like a smallmouth yet, at least. Yeah, it's just going out, dude. Oh, now it's feeling like a big smolly. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, dude. I think it's a big, big smolly. Yeah, dude, a big one. Yep, it sure is. Go hit the check mark up there and drop a point really quick. Yeah, drop a waypoint. And then it should pop up and then just hit. There's like, on the button, there's a button that's a check mark. The, 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 the flag, yeah, yeah, the flag. Yep, and then just hit like yes or save, save, save. Yeah. Dude, it's giant. I'm talking about a giant. <laughs> Did you see it on Epic? I saw just like a little indentation and I cast it at that. It was like 60 foot out, hopped it a couple times and she smoked it. It's fighting like a giant, dude. No, it's fighting like a smallmouth. It's fighting like a big small mouth. What is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it's a big one. It's a big one. I don't know if it's a giant, giant. Is it a big largemouth? Or, it or it's a drum. I think it's a drum. Oh, I think it's a drum. He started looking weird. Yep. Oh. Why no. He's so bronze. What the no. Heck? Oh. <laughs> He started off, like when he first was on it, it was like it doesn't feel like a smallie, and then he started feeling like one though. That was so weird. So flat the yeah. Dang you, man. That was fun though. I'll take it. <laughs> I thought we had a freaking six pound smallie on. First one of these today. You catch quite a few of them out here usually. Goodbye. Please don't eat again. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, if it's gonna stay like this.
Yep. Oh no. Came off. I saw I saw lots of things happening out there though. And the clouds are kind of going away too. It's full sun now, yeah. Yep. 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 I mean, I don't, don't don't do anything crazy yet. It's fine for now. I don't think it's like a giant giant. Could be another three pounder though. It, yeah, and the Nedrick. It could be another good one though, actually. Let's see, what do we got? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what is going on? Do I got two? Or it's chasing him. Chris, get in there. Right behind him, right behind him. There was, no, there was a bigger one behind him. Right behind him. Yes, right there, right there. I still saw him flash. Where did he go? Oh my gosh, dude. That's how many, it's two now that we've had follow up. That's a big one right there. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, just scoop him right quick. Scoop him right quick. There he is. There was another, just like the last time, the bigger one was following this thing up. This one's probably the biggest fish so far. Still probably not quite a four, probably three and change. Yeah, she's like a three and a quarter. Tad bit bigger maybe than those other ones, but she had like another four pounder following her up. And I missed one um, on the very beginning of that cast. This thing came back like three or four hops later. You got one? Oh. <laughs> Let's see how big she is. Probably three and change. Like I said, we're working on our 15 pound bag right now. Just all solid smallmouth. Just no great big ones yet. 3.10, tied for the biggest one so far. So we got three, two 3.10s. One on the spy bait, one on the net rig right there. But. Working on a solid three pound average I right like now. We can see the bottom. I can't really see it. Yeah, we're getting deeper now. These ones, the first ones we caught were all in like 10, 11 foot of water, and now we're kind of off in like 14 ish feet. Another solid three pound smallmouth going back in. Goodbye, mama. Go get to be five pounds, please. All right, boys and girls. So we have started exploring some new spots, have not been really catching anything. So I've had the GoPro off because I only brought a 64 gigabyte SD for some reason. Actually, it might be bigger than I thought, Chris. She wasn't really fighting at first. I thought that it was a pretty small one. Oh yeah, it's a big one, dude. It's a big one. I finally saw something on Active Target. Flipped the uh, the old flatworm out at her, and she ate it instantly. It's a big one. We were literally. Oh, it's got another giant with her. It's got another giant with her. That's the third one. This is a big one, though. This one might go four. We were literally just talking about how if we freaking caught one out here, it probably was gonna be a big one. Yeah, you might wanna get a net on this guy. There is another one down there, but it's not as big actually. I have the big one on actually. She's right below though. I'll get her, you get her. Oh my gosh, this is a giant actually. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Can you extend this net? Yeah, get her, get her real quick. Yes! <laughs> That's a big, that's a big one. We were literally just talking about if we got bit out here, we thought it was going to be a big one. I saw like two blobs down there and then caught this one, had another one follow it up. Gosh dang, dude. Been seeing so many perch down there, have not seen a single smallmouth out here. And then the first one that I freaking saw, I literally just went to Chris, I was like, that looks like a bass actually. Flipped out there. That That's a giant, dude. If she was fatter, she'd freaking be like a six pounder. She might go five though. She's so freaking long. Oh my gosh, dude. That is an absolute tank of a smallmouth bass. That's why we're at Lake St. Clair, dude. Oh my gosh. That's a, that's a giant smallmouth bass. I think it's gonna go five pounds. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh yeah, it's a giant, dude. Five pounder? Yep, 5.07. Just over five pounds. And she had another one following her up that was big too. Gosh dang, that time luckily, this is the third one that had a follower with her. This one, I had the bigger one. There was like a four pounder probably with this one. We caught a couple of three pounders earlier and they had like four pounders with them, but we're gonna get a couple pictures of that one. I'm gonna dip her in the water really quick and then we're gonna get her back in Lake St. Clair. Freaking five pounder, first five pounder of the trip right there. Heck yes. We're mostly doing it for fun though. It's the Alumni Derby. I just wanna get back out there, see some of the college guys. So we're sticking them today. I really don't care. It's not like we're fishing the freaking Bassmaster Classic or anything. We're just trying to, trying to have a good time out here, catch some fish. Get ready for the tournament though on Sunday. Look at that freaking behemoth. Gosh dang, going back down to the depths. 
we're only fishing in about 10 to 12 foot of water too because we have to fish on the American side. We don't have Canadian licenses, unfortunately. Uh, all the deep water for the most part is over in Canada or just way down the lake too. So we're launching up here kind of near the, the north end by, uh, launching up here in the north end by Anchor Bay. And uh, so we're just up here putzing around, looking for bait, looking for fish on the graph and finally stumbled across the right one. You might need to put a flatworm on. That was like three or four casts after that last one. It's another big one. It's another big one, dude. Oh, it's another big one, dude. <laughs> oh, buddy, dude. They're eating the flatworm. Hey, touching this. Oh, my gosh. I've taken less than 10 casts total with this thing. If you guys are wondering if that max scent does anything, I think it might do something. Because, <laughs> yeah, Chris has been hucking around the Z2. Yeah, That's not. Another, yeah, it's another like pounder. four or five pounder, dude. Yeah, she's fatter, but not as long. She's probably four something. Oh, buddy. There's some big ones over here, huh? <laughs> this might be the one that followed it, for all I know. I kind of, we're, we're pretty much sitting in the exact same spot right now, guys. Haven't moved much. All right, give up. Give up, honey. Give up now. Nope, 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 nope. Here she comes, here she comes. Oh, buddy. <laughs> it's, all, it's all you. Good, good job. <laughs> Oh, oh smart. Like, <laughs> she's seizing that, dude. There you go. You got to get it right oh underneath her. Yeah. It's another <laughs> big hit, dude. Yeah. Oh, man. I might have to keep the GoPro on. I don't know. <laughs> we legit have like only an hour and a half left of recording, though. I said, so I think I might just kind of keep flipping it on once I hook the fish. Gosh, dang, dude. Right in the corner of the mouth. That little Carl Sticky's hook freaking gets him every time. Look at I wasn't even worried about that fish getting off. She was going crazy next to the boat and we just kind of let her do her thing, keep the tension on that line, and they really shouldn't go anywhere. Pretty rarely do you lose a fish on one of these little sticky hooks. Now I'll lose the next one, but it's okay. So that one's a lot healthier, but she's probably like two or three inches less than that last one uh, lengthwise. Well, we're at 17 pounds, over 17 pounds right now. This one's gonna call out one that's under three. 4.38 pounds, calling out a 282 freaking almost a four and a half pounder right there like i said a lot shorter stockier fish 18.71 so we're getting close to that 20 pound mark we got three three pounders that you know we could definitely make some upgrades on though try to hit that 22 plus pound bag today if we can i can lake st clair oh chris has got one oh perch up oh, and there she goes bye bye fish <laughs> i thought chris was hooking up he's got a little perch though Hey, well, that's what those big smallmouth are eating, so that's kind of cool. Chris is hooked up. Chris is hooked up. Oh, it's another big one. It's another freaking big one, dude. Fighting. He's just, yep. he's just done. <laughs> yep. Oh, let's go. <laughs> let's freaking go. It's another long, skinny one. 3.70, calling out a 3.04. All righty. Almost a four pounder. Got a picture of that one? Four pounds only. Only four pounders? Yes. Only four pounders, Chris says. Nice fish though. Hey, that's a big one. <laughs> Bigs. Right under the boat, just lift it up. <laughs> that's what you want to see? Well, we've got another one, boys. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's going this way. <laughs> she's going this way. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. She's not, e she's not even that big. Yeah, she's pissed. She's freaking pissed. <laughs> All right, see you later. Have fun. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what? I don't think it's very big. Like We kind of just saw this fish. I don't know if you guys did on camera. It looked like it was only like maybe a two and a half pounder, but now she's got the head shakes and she's fighting kind of like a four. So maybe she was deceptive. Some of these fish in this clear water, it's kind of weird. Yeah, she's she's pretty good, Chris. Oh, she's a big one. She's a big one. She's gonna, she's gonna help. Not like a great big one, but she's probably gonna, she's probably gonna be pushing four pounds if she's not four. It didn't look big, right? Yeah, that's. Do you got one? This is a, this is a good fish. <laughs> oh. Yeah, oh. yeah. It looked like a two pounder, didn't it? When it was up by the boat, I thought it was little. It's probably pushing four. It's probably another three and a half, four pounder. Gosh dang, man. What a freaking behemoth. Yeah, probably three and a half. On that little flatworm, they're freaking messing it up. 
that's probably going to put us over 20 or get us really close depending on how much she weighs. If you guys want to check out today's video sponsor, get hooked up on all the tackle that we're using. Like I said, Carl's Bane Tackle. Check out that link down below. We have been freaking slamming them on all sorts of stuff that we got in Carl's. Yeah, she's like a three and a half. 3.59 for a 3.10 and that brings us up to 19.86. Just below 20 pounds. We got one more 3.1 pounder so we just got to catch another like three and a half and we'll be over 20. another solid freaking fish though cannot complain three and a half pounders thing was fighting like a freaking maniac gosh they just go crazy up here there she goes all right well ladies and gentlemen boys and girls i think that that might conclude today's practice for us i think that chris and i are going to mess around go try to catch some large mouth uh, probably won't record for that because I have like literally no more time left on this SD card But had a good day out here had about 20 pounds We were just a tad shy of cracking 20 pounds But you know caught two nice ones one over four one over five and then Chris has got a perch on Oh, it's a freaking perch a lot of perch today and then a lot of like three three and a half pound smallmouth as well So good time out here never found like a true giant like five and a half six seven pound or nothing like that, but have some stuff to go off of for Sunday, and uh, definitely looking forward to seeing some of the old college buddies and getting out there and trying to crack a mega bag. So probably a fish, a mix of the stuff that we fish today, hopefully find a little bit more tomorrow, and then probably fish some new stuff during the tournament too. So don't really know how it's gonna go, but if you guys wanna check out today's video sponsor, check out the link down below. Like I said, pretty much everything that you guys see me use in these videos, for the most part, is coming from Carl's Bait and Tackle. So go show them some love. You can save 20 to 30% on pretty much everything on the entire site. Uh, it's gonna be the link down below, but thank you guys so much for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next video.